And hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome back to episode 22 of Modded Factorio. Okay, so what are we doing today? That's a pretty good question. Uh, we're doing a couple things. So to start with, we're clearing our inventory a little bit. Uh, come on, get over here. All right, up here. Boy, this place is turning into a bloody maze now, ain't it? Well, it isn't too, too bad, I guess. All right, so we got an Electro Furnace Mark II there. Why do I have an extra Electro Furnace Mark II in my inventory? That's a good question. Those are all Mark IIs. Those are all Mark IIs. These are all Mark IIs. Okay, then. Uh, let's pull that off, and we'll just stick this guy right there, I guess. <clears throat> just for right now. All right, so we got some rubber. We can shove that into there. Let's just check in on our rubber plantation up here. Oh, it's ready to harvest. Good, 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 good. Probably should have taken care of this off camera, but, you know, whatever. All right, so today we're working on a new type O science pack, all right? Why are we working on a new type of science pack? Well, that's a pretty good question. Uh, the reason we're working on a new type of science pack is because we need it to do some more research. You guys have probably seen those purple science packs laying around, and we need to get kind of started on that. There we go. So let's just get this cooking. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay. I should really just do a factory for that, but... That's only considered an intermediate process, isn't it? I think it is. Okie dokie. So, we have all of these things in here. Our blue science packs could be going a little faster. What are all these guys constantly running out of in there? Hmm. Let's take that and let's boost that up to 30... Oops. We can do the same here. 30. Come on. You know you want a 30. And we can do the same thing here. Increase this up to 30. That should make sure those guys keep working quite nicely. Okay. Oh, they're just running out of time then. Well, that's fixable. There we go. Guys should run a little bit faster now. And we need to grab a few more productivity modules. They use extra power, but... I'll put that there. There we go. It's extra power cost, but I think we got still... Yeah, we got power to spare right now. Okay, so, better science packs. Let's start with that. Should be fairly easy to do. We'll get ourselves... Let's clear our inventory a little bit. Okay, we can put you away. We can put you away. Uh, we can move you around. There we go. Put you guys over to here. Okay, so... What do we need? Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to need two fast inserters, right? Or rather, two smart inserters and two fast inserters. Beautiful. Oh, we made an extra smart inserter. Okay. That's no big deal. Alright. So what we'll do, we'll come down to here. We'll go one and two like that all right and now we need to make these guys alien science packs okay so we're just going to get ourselves this requester chest we made we made a requester chest right apparently not all right so we'll just chunk you down right there and we'll do a passive supplier as well we'll throw you down right there okay so, you're the passive provider. So we'll do that. We'll do that, right? You guys are facing the right way. We'll do that and that. All right. So now are you guys counting? Yeah, okay. So what I also want to do here is I want to say 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10 in there. Okay. So you guys are going. Now the main issue appears to just be throughput speed. Um, which isn't horrendous, okay? Throughput speed is not the most horrendous thing we could be working on. Um, it is slowing us down a fair bit, but <clears throat> shouldn't be too, too bad. Okay, so what we'll say is logistic condition. If you have less than, yeah, let's go with 50. I want you to produce, to pull alien science packs, okay? So let's go into here. Let's say... Alien science packs less than 50. Now, alien science packs, how does this work? 
Oh, we get 10 per. Well, that's not bad at all. Okay. So we'll say pass a provider. Or, no, request chest. All right, we'll go for alien artifacts, and we want you to keep 10 of those stored at all times. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, where do I end up hanging out most of the time? Like, where is my... See, in Minecraft, you have your designated workshop, which is one, which is great, you know? But over here, we don't really have a designated workshop. Well, I guess here counts, I guess. So let's get a passive provider. Let's throw him down right here. Okay. So I can drop off those alien artifacts. They're going to get taken to places. Beautiful. Okay. Now, here's what I'm also going to do for this episode, because now we have that squared away. Okay, so that's a RoboPort Mark II. That's a standard RoboPort. All right. So we're also going to start upgrading our RoboPorts here. Okay. Now, what do we need to upgrade a RoboPort? Uh, RoboPort. We need 45 processing units and 45 steel gears. Okay. So we're going to make ourselves just a little factory to do that with. Okay. And that little factory, I'm going to stick it down here, I think, somewhere. Um, do I have the space right here? Yeah, I think I do. Right? So I put you there, and let's get a requester chest. And we'll put him right there. Okay. Actually, hold on. If I do it like that... Hmm. Well, I want to try and do this. Oh, this will work. Okay, hold on. Alright, so we got the requester chest. We'll chuck him down right. I need to move one down, buddy. There. Right? And then we're going to... And that should cover that. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll say, all right, so you are going to be producing steel gears for me. And I want you to keep at least that much, and I want you to keep at least 50 steel in supply. Okay. And then we'll put down our smart inserter, and we'll say logistic network condition less than one in network of RoboPort Mark 1. Okay. That should be good for that. All right. So you're actually going to be producing RoboPort Mark 1s. Okay. <clears throat> and what do you also require for RoboPort Mark 1? 45. So we'll tell this guy we also want you to keep in your inventory, at all times, 40, 45 of those, okay? And that's what you're producing there. Good. All right, so then, how the hell am I going to do this? Same to get from there to there and that to that, okay. Well, all right, so let's say, let's get another, get back out there, will ya? So then let's get ourselves another, let's see, 90 steel plates, 45 processing units, 45 steel gears. That's fine, okay. Oh, we're going to need you to store a lot more than that. All right, so let's say 100 and, screw it, 200. Okay, and then we're going to get a, let's say, a fast inserter. We're going to point you like that. And then we're going to get a, another fast inserter and another fast inserter. And some sort of, we could just go with a wooden chest, I guess. So we'll do that. We'll go like that and like that. Actually, no. You know what we'll do? 
we will go with a passive provider. There we go. And we'll replace you with a smart inserter. Alright, so you have to keep how many steel gears in you? Alright, let's take another look at this. Um, 45. So let's say less than 100 steel gears. Right? Okay. Good. And you're still filling up there. Okay, so you should eventually go. Oh, they don't upgrade. That's right. Oh, I forgot about that one. Okie dokie. I forgot that they didn't straight up upgrade. So then we have to get the crap out of here and into there, I guess. No, okay, so what we'll just do is we'll just get a standard good old-fashioned inserter like that and another passive provider like that. So that should do the trick, right? Right. Okay, good. Great. Awesome. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. Actually, we'll switch this up just a little bit. So let's go with uh, one of you and that, and we'll say less than one of uh, these guys in the network. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And our steel production is suffering a little bit right now because we're drawing on it in so many different bloody places, I think. Yeah, we're just not keeping up. Oh. No. No, we have all four running. They're all Mark II electric furnaces. Are you guys running out, maybe? A little bit. There, that should be a little bit better. One, two, three, four, eight. Okay, so let's go with... Like that. And like that. Alright, and then I think we also need... Now that I'm thinking about it... Oh, come on. Refill me. Thanks, guys. Okay, we also want to boost... Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here that we can do? Logistics robot speed. Cargo size. We'll do speed. Oh, it would also help, by the by, if we configured these guys to need... 10 of you... Um, 10 of you, 10 of this. See, if I hadn't realized that, I would have literally spent an hour going, why isn't this working? And 10 of you. Beautiful. Okay, we're good to go. You can see all of our nice little drones are doing their jobs there. All right, and you're still doing your thing over here, I'm guessing. Yeah, you're still waiting on more crap. Oh, because you're going to stock up to two before you actually do anything. Right. Um, let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, we should do this too. Hold on. Derp, 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 derp. Also, where in the name of all that's good did I put my... That's where that stuff sits. Ah, oh, there we go. There. Of course, this is probably going to put a massive drain on my power reserves, but whatever. 
Oh, are you not set to produce these? No, I can't put you in there, can I? Nope. If I could do that. Good. Why is it claiming that I have steel gears in my network? It's supposedly saying I have a hundred of them. Somewhere. I'm not certain where that somewhere would be, because I'm pretty darn certain I don't have it. Alright, so it's not thinking it's in there. Where the heck would it be imagining that I'd put that stuff? Because I don't think there's anywhere where I'm actually producing it. Oh. Well then, producing it way the hell over here. What am I using it for? There, that should solve that problem. All right, so you're happily cranking along. I like to see that. Put that up there. Uh, we need to get rid of these assembly machine twos, come to think of it. Um, my assembly production chain is up here somewhere, I believe. what I'm going to do with that steel furnace. So let's just throw it in the junk bin. Okay, so that's done. Now, while I'm over here, I also want to snag... a stack of those. Boy, my steel is running pretty darn well, ain't it? <clears throat> I might even need to do a completely separate steel production line, come to think of it. Oh, gosh. Well, that's working pretty well. Not bad at all. It's just these guys can't keep up. That may be an issue in the future. Okay. Alright, so while that's going, it's going to be slow, but it'll work at least. Alright. Um, is one of you a requester? No, you're just all passive providers, productivity modules, electric module mark two. Nice. Okay. So while we're at it, let's go over to here or go over to here. Let's go. Boom, boom. And you're running along quite nicely. Good. Okay. Just so we have all of that rubber that we actually need. Um, let's come back up to here, or down to here, I think. Open this up. Are you full up? Yeah, nope, nope. We can store you in there, and we can store you in there. We can store you as well, and we have plenty of you. We should probably put these guys down as well, just so I have it next time going, ooh, I need blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, you know, if you actually replanted your rubber trees, it would help. Oh, 
There we go. Some nice rubber saplings down there. Okay, so now let's figure out what we're doing next. Right, we're building some defenses. So if you noticed, one of the weak points to my entire plot over here, right, are these towers, right? You guys probably noticed that pretty quickly, as did I, believe it or not. Now, the towers that are ranged over here are pretty weak, but that's not much we can do about it. But as you can see, I have walled off this section up here, which is probably pretty good for us. All right, so we're going to need to get some more gates, all right? So we can put down a gate and a gate. Now, this section is going to be a pain in my rear end, okay? Because all I can basically do here is I can draw this line straight down, but then I have to draw it over and down because I can't have the train crossing through at an angle, right? Essentially, I have to build this whole thing so that the train can still clear through. All right, so we have our gate here where the train clears through, etc., etc. Now, what we're going to have to do if I come over to here is I want to put some defenses in for this whole thing. Oh, hail. Um, well, this is running out pretty darn quick. Okay. So we're going to have an overside on one side, but that's fine. This is going to run out pretty quickly. All right. Looks like iron is going to be a continuing challenge for me. Okay. So now what are we doing? Okay. Lasers. It's laser time. So we're just going to run these up. And around. And to there. And that's as far as I can get. Okay. So let's get some more of those. And let's start putting these lasers down, shall we? So pretty standard. One space in between each of these. Now, of course, the advantage to these guys is that I'm not as worried about... Um, ammunition. If I had to cart ammunition up here, it would be a pain in the rear end because I don't have a robo port up here to secure this, to provide logistic support up here. All right, and no, I'm not putting that entire line of robo ports all the way up. All right, so we got that. We can get some more towers. And looks like we'll have a gap there. But there ain't much I can really do about it. Well, what if I do arrange this like that, right? And I'll put an extra one in there. Okay. That will cover. That will cover. That'll cover. And then that and that, and we need a few more of these. All right. Basic, basic, basic defensive perimeter. Also, it'll kind of shield any attacks I get from the north, right? And there we go. Okay. Well, that's all I have the lasers for right now, unfortunately. Okay, so these are all loading up. That's good. And they are keeping up with what I want them to keep up with. But, again, I'm just running into this issue. That there just isn't enough iron. 
What I need to find is a decent sized iron supply. There's another one over here. Uh, it's not too, too far away. And then I have uh, enemy base down here. Let's do one last thing before we end this episode, alright? Alright, so that's all still stocking up. That's good. And actually, I want to put one more gate in this entire assembly. So let's grab ourselves one more gate, and we'll paste them in right there. Okay. And that'll just give me, you know, a little bit more flexibility getting in and out so I don't have to run, you know, on the railroad tracks. Because that's always good, not running on the bloody railroad tracks. Um, yeah. The train system is working pretty well, by the way. As you guys can probably see. Let's come through the other gate so I don't get run over by accident. Alright, so if I come through here, you guys can see this is working pretty well. I do need a bit better iron input. Um, fortunately, I'm not yet at the point where these guys are actually causing an issue. Alright, so I'm not there yet. That's good to see. Uh, the one thing I'm just kind of keeping an eye on is coal. Of course, this stuff over here is all well and fine. We don't even need the Mark IIs there to do it. Um, this guy's still producing walls for me, which is probably a good thing. And uh, we got some more copper. So copper's not an issue, right? Copper is most certainly not an issue. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I just want to move my radars up there. Oh, robot speed three. Thank you, computer. And let's do... Well, I'm not really worried about cargo sizes right now. Um... I don't want to do that yet, because I haven't even upgraded to the number one yet. Let's do... yeah, why don't we just do this? Hell no, let's do... Big size chests? No. Upgrade energy creation, accumulators... Yeah, we'll do Mark II underground belts, why not? Alright, so let's just find our... Twin radar arrays. Let's pull them up. Got some more coal out here, too. Yeah, the real thing right now is I just need to... We got a little bit of iron right there, but that would just be silly to go tapping. I might tap it. No, oh, that was fast. Um, let's do automated construction. We're not really using it right now, but we might as well. But I just want to chuck these radar arrays over here, because why not, you know? That'll give, just give me a bit better radar coverage. So as you can see, these things are actually working pretty well. Um, I think, are you already? No, you're not even close to full. You're not either. Okay, that's fine. So, let's just do a quick exploration, shall we? And I want to get myself just one more gate. So, I think I saw on my map that I have... Uh, Maybe some iron up here. It's either iron or stone. I'm not certain. It can be kind of hard to tell on these maps, but... And yeah, I'm a little not entirely concerned. Yeah, so we have a little bit of iron up here. Um, a little far away for me to actually run... I'd have to actually run a line up here, and I'm not thrilled with that idea. I mean, I'm not unhappy. Ooh, this is a nice big iron supply. Look at this, guys. Okay. This is perfect. So when we run out of uh, that supply over there, we'll run another line up there. And I think there's more iron down there too. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So we'll take care of that. And we got, what is this, silver for metallurgy? I don't know. So we'll probably, yeah, we're going to have to run the train up and over there. So that will be a very, very good idea, I think. Yeah, I think that would be a very, very good idea. I'll have to run power all the way up there, but... That's fine. We can take care of that. Not too shat, not too badly. Um, I'll probably keep this base here simply because there's we still have the copper here. And if we ever do run out of that copper supply, it'll be nice to have a backup available. Okay. And we can get kind of... Actually, you know what we can do right now? Now that I'm thinking about it. We can upgrade these. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you for automated construction. Um, let's do... Yeah, laser turret damage, why not? And we'll just run these all the way up. I probably won't have enough here, but... No, we have, I think, enough more. Perfect. Okay, that's getting us nice and rolling along. So these guys are actually now running at full speed. Beautiful. It doesn't matter that it slows down towards the end because we're almost done anyway, so... Oh, and you're done. So let's move you up to here. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we should have plenty of production now. How are you guys doing? Perfect, okay. So that looks good for there. We should be all set. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been Mr. Kassarian. Thank you all for watching. Uh, and until next time, guys, happy building.